Hello. Today's lesson is uh, I'm going to draw a witch in a cauldron. Normally when people ask you to draw witches in cauldrons, uh, you immediately think of uh, Macbeth with the three witches all crouched around a cauldron, uh, casting spells and mixing the witch's brew uh, and adding salt and pepper. But uh, my uh, approach to the subject is slightly more humorous and also in this lesson I'm going to use uh, watercolour uh, you get some nice shading effects with uh, just water and a, a little paint so you'll see the difference from my normal drawings anyway off to the drawing board thank you right here we go there's here's the pencil sketch of my drawing uh, there again I've drawn the sketch in first to save time uh, when you're on YouTube so uh, the pen I'm using here is an ordinary calligraphy pen, so uh, which you can get at any art shop. So let's draw, fill in the outline now. I'm now drawing the mouth, a little curve, neck. There we go. This, uh, she's holding a glass draw the arm with the cloth hanging down there we go bit more hair a couple of lines either side of the glass that means that it's moving it shows movement whoops pen paper slipped and I really should stick the paper down but I haven't uh, haven't done it this time. I'll draw the uh, shoe. They all wear pointed shoes, which is do. And uh, here's their arm resting on the floor. A bit more hair. There. Then again, that denotes movement of the head. So we'll do the other leg now with the shoe and uh, just a hint of a petticoat showing underneath her dress. And do a hand on the ground. A couple of stones just to show the ground. We'll do another shoe now. And there's the base, and uh, we'll have a little patch on the bottom of the shoe showing it's worn out. She can't afford a new pair. Now we'll do a hat. resting on the ground beside her. Now uh, here's the uh, bubbles coming out of the cauldron dripping down the side of it and there's the stick uh, that she used for mixing up her brew and there's a cauldron, a couple of more lines to show movement and uh, oh and here's the uh, the witch's cat there we go I know what you're thinking, you're thinking well that doesn't look like a cat looks like a teddy bear well actual fact it is her cat but uh, he annoyed her this morning when she was mixing the brew up and uh, there's a result. She turned him into a teddy bear. But not for long, I'm sure. A couple more stones. And here we'll have uh, a few leaves to give the impression of uh, she's in the woods on her own. Sign the drawing. 
There. Now what we'll do, we'll, we'll add a bit of colour to a face. Here again I'm just using an ordinary uh, marker pen you can buy in the stores. Various colours. Now what I'm doing now is I'm covering the drawing in just ordinary water. I've got a glass of water alongside the uh, drawing which you can't see but every time my hand disappears I'm dipping the brush into the, the water jar. And all I'm doing is wetting the page. And there we go, a bit more water. As you see, you can barely see the water on the drawing but uh, when I add colour to it, it'll create a nice effect. So at the moment, the water is just soaking into the paper. It looks a bit bluish because I've uh, I this is from my last drawing, and I didn't uh, I didn't wash the water out properly. I didn't throw it away, but uh, doesn't matter. So now we add colour, and as you see, as I add a bit of colour to the drawing, it soaks in with the water on the page and it creates a very nice shading effect. Kind of soaks, soaks in. You don't have to completely cover the, the area you're, you're uh, shading. Just give a hint there, you can see now. It's quite a quite a good effect. I quite like that. Now the side of the cauldron and the colour is mixing in with the water you've already added to the page uh, soaking in. You probably see the paper it's getting a bit waterlogged now but uh, there we go. A bit of yellow there from the magic brew. There's the bubbles going up in the air running down the side, colouring her cat, oops sorry, teddy bear, and uh, her drink, I'll have a few bubbles bubbling out from her drink, and it must, it's really powerful stuff because it's kind of, she's enjoying drinking it, I'm sure it's alcoholic, otherwise she wouldn't be in that state, and now uh, a bit more dark, shading at the bottom just to round off the drawing it's nearly finished now oh I've just spotted something um, we'll add a bit of green there and I'm right has to show that she's in the woods. Just a hint of green. That's all you need. And last but not least, uh, I forgot to put the flesh on her legs. So here we go. And that's it. One witch and a cauldron enjoying herself.